Hello, people. Dylan here. And happy throwback Thursday. And here in the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review. And today, which is on the Naboo Fighter and Vulture Droid from 2007. So on the front of the large booklet, you see Lego logo, Star Wars logo, the 30th anniversary border from 2007. And a picture of the whole set in action. And set number is 7660. On the back is most of the 2007 wave and then add for the first two battle packs with a few more troopers adding added also add for Lego club add for the online survey and then add also add for most of the bone the features of it and all the pieces that come with the set in the last steps. Now on to the new things included. This first of which is Young Anakin Skywalker. And well, some of the features about the same as from the original 1999 versions, but now within the skin color since, of course, 2004 and 5. 2004 is when most went over to skin color. Of course, but it is using the short legs as fitting to his appearance in Phantom Menace. There's also no back torso print nor double side face since it's a little older mainly, but although still using the uh, simple dots his eyes effect, which they did until 2009. And next is a Naboo pilot. And it's also the same thing, but also same face print that they used for a long time. And of course, same uh, cap as earlier town sets, and no back torso print since it's an older figure. And also, do you get the like uh, pilot helmet and goggle that you can use for both him and Anakin? And then, last but not least is the uh, earlier R2-D2. Early R2-D2. The, the uh, head print a little slanted, but whatever. But also, I would same as it's been since 1999. At least until they kind of changed it up in 2008-9. Probably for like Clone Wars and such, but yeah. First for the builds is this Vulture Droid, which is kind of similar to that of the like uh, 1999 version, but except has a couple battle droid arms to extend these things out. Um, even though that one you just had to pull the pieces off and do that. Although on these of which do have these interesting plates that have sticker details on them. But also you can kind of click them up and down to make it stand walk, of course. But also like the other blue versions, it can like extend the head up a bit to make it look like it does have a head. But of course, in other versions, have to stick a mini thing. But of course, they're drones. Let's switch. And Lego, make sure that all Volt droid sets are like this. And, and for its flight mode, it got just like the like a hybrid drive booster ring set from this year, where you can like put these little missiles out, which are just simple rods with cones on them. At least until they did the flip fire missile, flip fire missile set, and of course, although the problem was that they just fall out easily. At least until they fixed that with the like flip fire missiles the following year. I think that is about it for that. So first of which. 
for the Naboo Fighter is get this little stand which has this little face piece that is also used with like a uh, at at foot and it also a corner fence but use that as like okay ladder to get it and also harpoon on the side not sure what for but now on to the Naboo fighter itself it's a, kind of similar to the like most recent version well But still, but just no chrome added to it like the 2002 UCS version. So have the like big long slopes that have a couple stickers on. So there's plenty of stickers on this set. And the engines also like the other versions, kind of that, but a little different bit added to it. But also, unlike some other versions, it has the long antennas it's rather than the shortish ones. And, and also, uh, oh, what? So, the cockpit area, also plenty of sloping to it. And the cockpit, also a couple of stickers on it. And get a little control panel there, which gives, and of course, you have enough space to fit your Anakin minifig in, like so. It might can there. And have a couple of the odd slopes that have some more prints to them, and this other one that also is. You can see it's just plates and all in there. And with your R2D2, it has enough space to fit in if you have the head turned to the side, like in other versions. But also, to make it easy to get him out, is to pull this down and he drops down, which also kind of makes it as another way to get him in and out. But of course, kind of representing when. It Pulls and ride up into it. And as for the main feature, which is a whoops, you see it has the old style springlet launch where like pull this and then the missile shoots out like so. And then the little rock bit of it you can attach onto the base. Oh, whoops. Although it kind of shoots out constantly, like like in other sets. And so now on to a little comparison is with the most recent 2015 version, which, as you can see, sticker bits are all quite the same, but although this one did have a like gear effect to it, which this one doesn't. Also, blue wheel bits in it, rather, which this one also doesn't. Also, these sticker details tend to flop over or aren't fixed in place, but this one just doesn't. The good thing that the 2015 version does have the like shortish antennas rather than the longish ones, which tend to pop off quite easily. And then the like sides of which quite the same. But although of course the 2011 version also quite there, but also same exact sticker marking as said versions. And so but also do you have another sticker added to it which this one also doesn't. But also but with larger slope bits. So now on to which the final verdict. So overall, this I think a pretty cool set from 2007. It, like you get two uh, builds together, which they stopped kind of a trending away from, but oftentimes or occasionally also do. 
but also the Nabu Fighter I think is a quite good build for the time, but also the Voltor Droid, just about right interpretations of how it's like just as a drone with no pilot in it, which I find uh, just well pleasing to it. And if you're looking to add this to you, get added to you, your Naboo mock, then go ahead and pick it up. And if you still have fond memories of it, then also go ahead and pick it up. Or if you still have access to it, also do so. Like eBay Bricklink, whatever. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe. And thank you, 220 subscribers. Thank that is great. I appreciate that. Thank you for subscribing. And that's about it for this video. And thanks for.